Hello, my name is Mars, and today I will be playing Broken Age. This is an adventure game in which you play as two teenagers with parallel stories that you can swap between. And as far as the story goes, that's actually as much as I know about this game. Uh, because when people talk about Broken Age, it's usually to talk about its pedigree and its history as one of the first games successfully funded on Kickstarter by the financially struggling but cult classic studio Double Fine Productions, uh, which is a studio led by some real veterans of the adventure game genre. Uh, <laughs> even the game's own store page kind of frustratingly spends more time talking about its all-star cast than actually describing what the game is about, but I'm still extremely intrigued and eager to play this. I've never played a Double Fine game, or for that matter, anything made by Tim Schafer at all, the people behind it, um, but I have watched multiple playthroughs of their games like Psychonauts and Grim Fandango, and I know that these developers really excel at creating colorful worlds and vivid characters and just really funny, humorous games. Um, I've actually been watching another playthrough of the Psychonauts series lately uh, by Dan Floyd of Playframe, huge recommend of another channel. Um, and although Broken Age has been in, a, in my backlog for a while, that's really what motivated me to finally get around to playing it and, and recording it because I want to share this experience of my first Double Fine game with everybody. All right, so with that out of the way, let's start a new game. It looks like, oh, our one character lives in a world, an Earth-like world, one of nature, and the other one lives in a futuristic world. Okay, so I was, I chose who to start with. Alright. Now I can interact. Wake her up. Guess it's time to face the cupcakes. <laughs> Come on, Bella. Everybody's waiting for you. Our sister? Deloria. Deloria, is that our name? There you are. I was getting worried. Worried that I chickened out? No. I know you're not afraid of anything. I mean, what's to fear? This is a great honor. Right. Wait, I can't tell if you're being serious. Well, there is one part that I'm really afraid of. What's that? I'm afraid that you won't get any food because I'm going to beat you to the Maiden's Feast. Dream on. All right. I think I'm actually going to turn the voice volume up a little bit. Greetings. All right. Thank you, Elijah Wood. Um, get a move on. No, we don't want our friend to think we're pokey. Hello? Oh. Surprise! Whoa. Yay! There's my Valoria. Oh, look at my pretty girl. I can't believe. I just can't believe. We're very proud of you. I think that's what your mother is trying to say. Oh, she's not even dressed yet? Can we do that after cake? Come on, cake first! All right, but come on. Let's get this good time over with. Oh, yes, cake. Now, where did I put that knife? Nobody touches that cake until I find the ceremonial knife. <laughs> Our grandma is so cute. <laughs> Look at all that bread in her hair. Okay, so... The, the cross means that we can't interact, but the... The circle... Does. I think that's supposed to look like Ramchatra, my handsome date to the prom. 
<laughs> what? I can't tell if that's a joke or not. Hello, sister? Little sister? Is it our birthday or is there some greater cultural significance to whatever's going on? Know where mom's knife is, Rocky? If I did, we'd all be eating cake right now! Okay, so I'm guessing she's just gonna ask people where the stuff is. Don't suppose you have another knife in the back we can use? I do, but your mom brought out a special one she wants to use. She wants everything to be perfect on your special day. Alright, they're being cagey about what it is. Oh, here's something covered up in a sheet. So I'm guessing it's not actually her birthday. I hope that dress isn't to scale. How would I walk in that thing? Oh. Um. She mentioned the prom. Is this like a prom thing? And also, are there subtitles? Yes. Thank you. I didn't even check to see if there were subtitles. What is it, girl? Oh! Dialogue tree. All right. So we didn't call her grandma, so this is probably not actually our grandma. Any idea where mom's knife is? We're late! If I knew, I would have cut that cake, shoved it down your gullets, and had us out the door already! Oh! Can I ask you about the Maiden's Feast? Weren't you paying attention in maiden training? Mog Chathra? Okay, so maybe that joke about taking it to prom? Was not a joke. How many of these feasts have you organized? Let's see. A new Grand Mog appears every 14 years, and I'd have seen six of them, so... Hey, are you trying to get my age out of me? I'll never tell. <laughs> what is Mog Chathra? The latest in a long, distinguished line of Grand Mogs to visit our land. Distinguished? Well, anything that lives that long becomes distinguished. I mean, look at me! <laughs> <laughs> She's so cute. Where do creatures like Mog Chathra come from? They come from beyond the plague dam. <laughs> How much do we know about these Grand Mogs? The Grand Mogs have visited our lands for as long as anyone can remember. They hide in the wilderness for years, and then they come to feed. After feeding, they return to their land and, it is imagined... Breed. You actually imagine that? Eh. <laughs> uh, why was I chosen if they come here to feed? Uh, are they gonna eat me? Am I being sacrificed? Oh my god. Why was I chosen? In every town visited by a Grand Mog, the villagers vote for the maidens who represent their town's best qualities. So in other words, beats me. Mean old lady. I want to go beyond the plague dam someday. It's forbidden! But maybe you'll be lucky enough to be taken there soon in Mog Chathra's stomach. Oh, oh god. Okay, so we are being <laughs> sacrificed. Mog Chathra attacks other towns? Of course! Maryloth just had their maiden's feast yesterday. That's how we know he's coming here next. <sighs> They're a pretty tough act to follow. Amazing feather work. Okay, I think I know all I need to know about the Maiden's Feast. All you need to know is how to look pretty in your dress. We'll take care of the rest. Oh, God. Um, everyone's being so nonchalant about this. And they're excited, too? So, why don't we just fight Mog Chathra? Silence! Talk like that could ruin the Maiden's Feast. If you destroy the feast, Mog Chathra will destroy this village, including your family. Is that what you want? No. My grandpa doesn't look too happy about this feast. Your grandpa is just stuck in the ways of old. Your grandma was the same way. And bless her soul. Not all of the town elders have stayed as hip and with it as I have. I'd better go look for that knife and hurry. If we're late, you won't be selected, and your family will be shamed! Oh god, okay. Grandpa, are you sad that I'm gonna be sacrificed and eaten? Grandpa Beastender? <laughs> he's- he's Beastender. He's a monster hunter? It, the solution to this seems pretty obvious. 
Although I guess he's old now, so he wouldn't be able to fight this Mog Chothra thing. Do you know where Mom's knife is? <laughs> wouldn't tell you if I did. I'm not doing one thing to help for this shame feast. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about this Maiden's Feast either, to tell you the truth. Then fight it, girl! Stand up for yourself! I hope you're not filling that girl's head with nonsense, Brommel. <laughs> Why do you hate the Maiden's Feast, Grandpa? Because this used to be a town of warriors. It's a travesty, Bella. Why'd we stop being warriors? Levina Clench and her ilk said there was too much bloodshed and pushed for appeasement. So we went soft. Became a town of bakers. Want a cupcake? Hey, Gramps, want a cupcake? Oh, um, yes. I'd better go find that knife. Don't you dare. I hid it for a reason. You did what? Oh, nothing. Yeah, it, it's... Question your elders. Learn all you can about oh, sugar bunting. Knife. That's the achievement I got. I feel like, um... Sugar bunting is not the actual thing that I just learned about. But okay, achievement. Mom, I was just wondering, what if we fought the monster instead of feeding it? That's my girl. Now that's beast ender blood talking. Please, my loves, don't make this any harder than it already is. <sighs> okay, so Mom doesn't actually seem happy about this. Think, Morelia, think. Alright, I'm guessing the knife is here. Maybe the knife is under this towel. <laughs> Never gonna find it. Dad, I hope you're not hiding that knife for your own good. <laughs> Alright. Oh, our inventory. Oh, and I guess we can switch to the to the boy. Don't touch the red one! Mom made those just for me. And you're going to eat all of those? I've already had six! That explains a lot. Um, we got a cupcake. Can we give that to Grandpa? It's just going to be... And then he'll maybe tell us about the knife. For me? For you, Grandpa. For you, Grandpa. Don't mind if I do. Okay, that didn't help. Grandpa Beastender? <laughs> I'd better go find that knife. All right. <laughs> I feel like maybe one of those options should be different. Okay, that's... Oh, can I go into another room? Hey, don't go get dressed yet. I don't want you getting cake on your good outfit. Oh, a little frosting never hurt a maiden's feast gown. Okay. Um... Uh, why not? Okay. So we're probably gonna need oat pies. Not until I find that knife, young lady. She already caught me using my fingers. Ew. <laughs> Eyes in the back of her head, that woman. Alright. Oh, inventory's in the bottom, that's weird. Drying that won't help. Drying something? Um I'm guessing we can't leave the room. No backing out now. Too many people would see me. Mm -hmm. All right. Do we want to? For me. Mom says you can't have any. I'm just showing it no, to you. No, Mom says you can't have any. I'm just showing it to you. Ah, I didn't want it anyway. Okay. For me. Split it. Split it with you? Deal. But we need the knife. Yes. There we go. <laughs> you need the knife to split it. Now give me the other half of that cupcake. Oh, damn it. Okay. So we need to split it with him. And then take the knife. Alright. Mom and Dad will be hurt if there are any left over. So. Th this is a decent first puzzle. Um, I've heard that 
they can get a little, as in the style of very old adventure games, which the people behind this game are creators of, some of the, the puzzles can get a little moon logic-y, but... Split it with you? Deal. I don't mind that, of course. It'll make Let's Playing it difficult, but... On second thought, you can have the whole thing. Suit yourself. Yum, yum, yum. Now, where did I put that thing? What thing? Yeah, uh, nothing. Uh, I didn't say anything. I think that moon logic puzzles are part of the joy of adventure games. They're a feature, not a bug. Unless they get really stupid frustrating, and then... You know, that's subjective. Here's a knife, All Mom. Right, time to serve this girl up. But first, can I ask just one more time? Honey, why don't we just kill Mog Chothra? <laughs> <laughs> here, here. <laughs> oh, honey. Oh, we're going to miss your sense of humor. Hmm. Majestic to behold. Oh, inspiring, powerful, mysterious. But Mog Chakra is more than that. Merciful and generous, Mog Chakra keeps our town safe. All he asks is may he pick some of our beautiful flowers as he passes through. Oh my god. Please come, Mog Chakra, and make your selections. Welcome to the Maiden's Feast. <sighs> Show him what you're made of, fella. I know she'll pick you. This can't be right. No, it's not right. For one thing, I should be in the center. Um. <laughs> I make myself the center of any new line. Hey, what do you say we break out of here? Trying to get us all to quit so you'll win the feast, huh? Well, it's not gonna work on me. I'm in it to win it, baby. Making me hungry. I'm trying to make Mom Chocolate hungry. These girls have it all backwards. I think it's attractive to starve themselves. Want to trade something for a bite of that drumstick? Hmm. What do you got? I have a towel. Need a towel? Nope. They taught us to eat daintily in finishing school. I'm warning you, buzzard! I will fuck you alive if you come near my food again! Alright. So we probably want the chicken to get the bird to carry us away from here. How about the satisfaction of helping out a fellow maiden? Hmm. Sounds good, but not half as satisfying as this drumstick. Never mind. Just wanted to say good luck. Bye. Center of math, maybe. Hey, does that costume have any thorns we can use as weapons? It does. But they're made out of chocolate. Regardless, <laughs> I accept my noble burden, not with apprehension, but with joy. I give my life so that no harm comes to our village. No, I give my life. No, me. Sheesh. No more ugliness, girls. More chocolate responds to beauty above all. Alright. Her says drink me. She might be the one who needs to be dried off with a towel. Hey, I've got a plan. I already have a plan, thanks. Attract Mog Chopra with my slender frame and be remembered forever as a hero. Well, good luck. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. I like Drumstick Girl better. Nothing without a little heat. When the monster gets close, you can use your candles to burn its eyes. Don't distract me. I think I've got a chance to win this. Oh. Uh-oh. I hear him. Look, there he is. Oh, God. Oh, that's so creepy. Drooling. 
nasty. Here I am, merciful King Mog Chakra, over here. No, this way, Great One. I am the one you've come so far to find. Over here. I am in blue for you. See, he's drawn to the flame like a giant moth. What? No way. He's coming my direction. Please, don't be hasty in your decision, my lord. Oh, yes, take your time, look over all your options, and then, after some careful consideration... <gasps> oh, did we fail? <laughs> oh, no, he took the... the candle girl. Can I? To be armed. And I wish this were more monster sized. Listen. Nah, I'll let Lavina clean it up I afterwards. Just want you to know okay. It's a great honor to be. Need a towel? Uh, I always open the bottle carefully. <laughs> so, no. Okay. But I think maybe we should. I mean, let's stab her. I don't think I could hear her from here. Too skinny. Oh, God, they're all scared. Need a towel? I think you got a little maiden on your cheek there. No? Okay. Okay. It's hard to tell where the dress ends and the cake starts. Um. I'd never be able to cut through that thick hide. Even those eyes look armor plated. I don't know what to do. Those are even eyes. Um. Okay, I feel like I need to do something to the bird as it flies over. Um. Okay, here it comes again, I think. No? Alright, bird. Hey, Bluebird, can I get a lift out of here? No? Okay. Uh. Need a towel? Nope. They taught us to eat daintily in finishing school. Okay. Why are you bothered? I want you alive if you come near my food again. So we need. I feel like we need the the drumstick. Okay. Get one of her thorns. For self defense. Now why would I need defense against ultimate? Hey, need it. Okay. Yoo -hoo, over here. Hmm, not working. Okay. Want to trade something for something bubbly to wash it down? I something bubbly to wash it down. Actually, I could use a swig of something. Okay. All I'll right. So we need the bottle. Just wanted to say good luck. Bye. We need the bottle. Hey, can I have a drink of that water? Hmm. Trade you for that sweet corset you've got on. You never can be too bad. This horrible thing? You got a deal. Ooh. What a relief. I feel so much. Oh, I'm sorry. But this thing's just too big for me. Trade back. All right. Uh oh. Oh no. Poor girl. That should have been me. All right. So we made some progress. We got our corset. I don't need trying. I'm too nervous to even sweat. How about the slimming corset? I don't want to hide my best assets from Mom Chop. Yeah, I figured she wouldn't like that. All right. Do we want to use? Much as I'd like to shred this thing, it might come in handy huh? later. No, they don't make toothbrushes here, son. Why don't you want this corset? I thought you were into that kind of thing. Please, that thing is so huge. It's like trying to put handcuffs on a straw. Seems small to me. <laughs> All right. Just make it quick. Uh, my noble. What?
what if we offer the corset to Mog Chathra? I think Mog Chathra is really more of a let it all hang out kind of guy. Gross. Um. Nah, I'll let Luvina clean it up after Oh my god. This is so dark. Okay, no. It's nice to be armed, but I wish this were more monster. Corset with the bird. Aha. Uh -huh. She were a little closer. So I need... Okay. I could get the corset on the bird? Weird. I could probably slip so we do her. need the jumpstick for this. Um. Need a towel? Uh. Oh god. <laughs> this is such a stressful situation to be puzzle solving in. I don't think I could hit her from here. I love how she Skinny. she offers the knife to everyone else. But just consider stabbing this one, because she seems like a jerk. Need a utensil to make that? No thanks. I feel silver detracts from the hand of the beast. All right. Nothing left but crumbs. Horrible. Nothing left but crumbs. Horrible. Okay. Um. She was spilling everywhere. Um, I saw you spill. Alright, we're gonna have to wait for something to happen. I swear I just saw her spill everywhere. Um... No, that's gonna be the same. Need a towel? Nope. Um. Why don't you go over here and give me a ride? Just wanted to say good luck. All right. Can I borrow that bottle one more time? Keep it. Okay. Thanks. I don't need it where I'm going. Okay, we just needed to ask her for it again. So I was way overthinking that. Saving the best part. How about something bubbly to wash it down? Well, thanks. Don't mind if I. Ah! Look at me! I'm soaked! Oh, God. Okay. Quick, quick! Have me put myself back together! Yeah, that's what the towel's for. I've got a towel here if you throw me that drumstick. You have a towel? Why didn't you say so? escaped I gotta say I <laughs> I never could have guessed that this was what the game was about <laughs> double fine you got a a twisted sense of humor but I like it <laughs> and look at these environments they look watercolor painted. It's really beautiful. I, 
do gotta say, with this being um, a, probably a higher tier than indie, it's nice to have fully animated cutscenes in a game I'm playing for once. Not the kind of thing I usually see in my games, so nice change of pace. All right, new environment. Get out of my nest. Dad, look! Jesse brought back a girl with her. Ooh, a new recruit. Time for your old man to be gone, Mr. Smooth. All right. Oh. I think we're all done here. So that cutscene's over and you know, we, we can probably switch over to the boy anytime we want. Um, but I'll, I think I'll do that next time. I'm a little blown away in both a good and bad way by what this story seemed to be about. That That's the joy of going into a game almost completely blind. Um, and after that spectacle, I'm very intrigued to know what the boy's story is going to be. But like I said, we'll we'll trade over to him next time. I think, is this a game I can save whenever? Manual save? Yes. I think it's saved at the same point. Um, but yeah, until then, I have been Mars, and I will be back with more Broken Age.